Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is uh, Stacy, the channel's hands in the dirt. Today, we're, I'm going to show you guys how I plant my purple passion fruit. This is some uh, seeds that I got uh, when I was in Puerto Rico last year on vacation. Bought these purple passion fruit seeds. I planted them last year. They started to grow. I overwintered them in the house, and now I'm just getting them outside. All right, these are the two plants. As you can see, they're doing well. They're starting to try to they got little tendrils on them. They're starting to try to vine out. So we're gonna go ahead and get them in the ground. This is where I had my uh, purple passion fruit growing the last time. You see this eye bolt right here. I have another one down there on that post. And I'm gonna tie uh, this cable from one end to the other. And this is again, using something just laying around the house. This is what I had up here last time. And the last time I had a, uh, I had these little uh, things on the end to clamp them. But we're not finna do all that this time. We're just finna put a good knot in it. That should hold. I'm finna run it all the way down this way. The last time I planted some, I planted them directly in the ground, but this time I'm going to put them in containers, but I'm going to cut the bottom out the container. There we go, bottom cut out. Doing this for two reasons with the containers. One, uh, when I come through here with the weed eater and stuff, uh, I don't want to cut the daggone uh, passion fruit vine. So I'll have this uh, in a container where I don't do that. Gonna dig this out a little bit. That should be good right there. Place my container in here. I don't know what kind of root system uh, this purple passion fruit has. I don't want to disturb it, but I want to get under it. All right, that's the root system. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take some of my compost. Take some of my compost. This is all homemade compost. I'm gonna put it in there like that. Set the plant down in there. Cover the roots. Train it up this way. I'm gonna tie that up a little bit to get it off the ground so no rabbits don't get no ideas. Doing something similar right here, except I'm probably gonna tie a uh, string or something from right here and let the vine climb up here and then the vine will go down here, just like that. Put that down in there like that. Take my compost. Down it up like that.
little fertilizer. Mulch it in. Then we're gonna come back and water this in. We're gonna call that good. I see what I did, tied a string up here. Came down here, staked it to the ground. Now I'm just gonna wrap the vine around. It's gonna take off and do the rest. Just like that. All right, y'all, there we go. Purple passion fruit. In the ground. Train out with the trellis up that. Train this one the trellis and go down that way. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna do a quick tour. This is my LSU purple. You see how much better my figs are looking? Uh, this black mission, everything is leafing in. This is Chicago, Chicago Hardy. This is a white Marcellus. She's finally starting to get some stuff going on. And this is a Ischia um, fig. I've had her for a while and uh, hopefully she does something this year. Just put some fresh compost in my mulberry tree Pine up a guap was right there and put some in this mulberry tree. Hopefully this one does something this year. Gave my Myra lemon some uh, compost. You can see that she's uh, putting out a whole lot of new branches. Got a lot of new growth going on with her. It's a good thing. And then you can see these lines are hanging in there. And this Awara Sassuma, she's new. I just got her, so we're gonna give her some time. Call them on an orange, just getting some new leaves. Putting on, then my Mexican line. Um, and this is another Meyer Lemon in here. Doing this thing. Blueberries are loaded. Blueberries are loaded. I'm gonna get on some compost too. These blackberries, they're starting to put on. I guess get ready to fruit. earlier. Stay hanging on to one plum. This is a thornless one. Let me get this leaf off here. It's broken. She's still growing, but she's... Wait a minute. Yeah, maybe she is starting to fruit a little bit. Let's see what's going on. This air layer uh, pear tree. She has fruit. Got some flowering going on with these strawberries. And these are the ones that I'm gonna give away, but I'm gonna keep feeding them. Remember the little wildflowers I planted? Some of those are starting to come up. But take a look at these uh, bare root strawberries. These are the seascapes. You can see that all of them are greening out. Some of them have flowers. And these are the, I think it's Whopper or something. Some kind of Whopper. There'll be some really big ones. So all of them have their, they're starting to get their leaves on them too. Right here, all of the sugar snaps have come up. Shot the video, I hadn't released it. Probably won't now show you the sugar snap. I love these things. Um, I'm gonna figure out some kind of way to trellis them up. So they can go up this right here. And behind them, I have some Blue Lake green beans and they're finally starting to break surface. I have one coming up right there. These are those strike beans. They came up quick. I planted the Blue Lakes way before I planted these. These, they came up really quick. So 
we got a bunch of those that ready to come up. These red New Orleans potatoes come up from the potato video I shot. Yukon goes to come up. So things are starting to move along in the garden. Got to update on some of my carrots. They're starting to come up. They're so tiny, it's hard to see them, but they're starting to come up. Pretty good. Starting to get berries on some of these strawberries. Six of these trays of strawberries. And these pears are doing really, really good. They're coming along just fine. Even this, these figs are finally starting to come to life. And over here. They're finally starting to come to life with these figs. All these other trees. Everything looks like you're doing something except for this Fuyu persimmon. Cherry tree, Mifflu plum, golden plum. Everything's like it's moving all right. Not in no hurry with these. These are young trees. Take their time. All right, y'all, so I showed you guys how I planted my purple passion fruit. Gave a quick update on some of the things that, uh, some progress that's going on in the garden. So with my strawberries, striped beans, um, uh, my uh, my peas, and my blue leg beans. Just a few things that's going on that are starting to get a little movement on them. Uh, if you like my content, like and subscribe. Remember, if you have some seeds, put them in the dirt.